we are gonna start with uh, no, installation uh, what you see is I have opened the browser gone on Google click Drupal 6 download uh, you can also download Drupal 7 which is the latest version anyway I'll download 6 as it's my favorite okay see now recommended releases we can just click on download star or gz you can save it in your desired directory You can ex extract files from the Drupal folder. I mean the zip. Uh, you can you see the folder has been created with name Drupal 6.22 as the version is 6.22. Uh, you can change it to your choice name. Say I'll change it to. My new site. And I will copy this to my local host. you see I've opened my exam which I probably use I paste the entire folder in my localhost ht docs directory once it has got saved you can open it in your browser make sure that your if you're using exam or any other server is kept on You see, I've written localhost. The folder name was my new site. Okay. Uh, you see, the new this Drupal site has opened. It is ready to be installed now. You, what you need to do is click on Install Drupal in English. Now, a requirement problem. Uh, what you need to do is go to let's shut this thing down sites folder default folder there is a file named default dot settings dot php you can uh, copy that file uh, place it in the files folder for a while rename it from default dot settings to just settings dot php once that is done you can uh, open it in uh, as of now just leave it as it is and uh, cut it again and paste it back to the place where it was where the file was default dot settings dot php uh, <clears throat> now probably you can do is uh, refresh this page okay you see this thing has worked second step has got over verified all right now what we need to do is create a database uh, you can open your database php my admin or uh, what we call it is uh, mysql
once this thing has opened you can uh, create a database say new site okay okay and now your database has got created what we will do is just type in the database name here database username would be uh, root it is different for different servers for me it's root and the password is nothing so I'll just keep as it does and click on save this thing will create all the necessary tables in uh, the new database that you have created now the site name you can keep your site name the site name of your choice for now I'll just keep it as new site you can put your email address because this would be important for later stages when uh, say you lose your password or something this might not work in your local host but it would work when uh, you are placing your site in the server uh, okay this is an important part I'll make the username as admin and password again as admin123 admin123 click on save okay you see your site has got created you can view your site from here you can now oh, this is how you're logged in you can log out from here and log in again from here this is the default page that you get once your installation is over we can change it later on uh, the way how we want it to be anyways we are done with uh, Drupal installation uh, you can go through other tutorials in the site thank you